Well, now that we already have our skin matrix, let's see how to add interzonal travel times and terminal times. I'm going to open our matrix. Let's see the matrix. It's here, here, time, our matrix. So, before we continue, there's one uh, thing that we should consider. If we do any computation on top of this matrix, add, subtract, or change the numbers that are here in any way, we're gonna actually going to lose this information, right? gonna it might be hard to trace back so what uh, what I what I'm gonna do is actually come here contents and add a matrix that I'm gonna call intro zone intro zone you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with this close to intro zone I'm just gonna put here whatever is I'm going to bring all the information from this matrix that we computed here. I'm going to do that by clicking on this button, fill the formula with that matrix. Okay? Right. Okay. Now I'm going to work in this matrix. And I'm going to do this in the following way. Following way. I'm going to go in planning trip distribution, intrazonal travel times. And what it does is for each zone, it's going to choose as many adjacent zones you, you wish. And adjacent, it's going to be the ones that are closest. So if I put two here for zone one, it's going to be zone two, and zone 8, right? I'm going to be the average of them, and I'm going to multiply by 0 0.5, so it's going to be half of the average. So for this cell, should be the average between 520, 625 is about 570, divided by 2, it's going to be a little bit less than 3, 275, or something like that. 287. So in the ballpark, that's the number. It looks right. Now, if I want to have only what I just computed here, I can go back and delete everything else. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this. Uh, now we have to do the terminal times. We have to add minutes or add time for terminal time. So to do that, I'm going to go again here, add another name, another matrix, rename it as terminal time. Press OK. Close. Go there. And here we can add whatever you wa we want. So um, let's say we want to add for everybody here. We want to feel. We are going to select uh, everybody that has, let's say, destinations on one. And I fill only the highlighted cells with, say, a minute. Everybody that has destination to seven and eight, highlight the highlighted cells fill with zero. These two, for example, with these three uh, columns with 0 0.5. These are just random name numbers. Your project might have different numbers. And these with, say, 0 0.75. And there you go. Now we can add another matrix. And rename as this total time. Can 
go to total time and fill it. What is what is total time? It's the sum of intrazonal. And remember, our intrazonal matrix has both intrazonal and interzonal plus terminal time. With this, if we did anything wrong, we can trace back. Oh, I computed intrazonal wrong, or I computed terminal times wrong, or shortest, or the times themselves are are computed wrong. So then you can trace back what you did. Oh, fine. If you wish, you can also rename the first matrix as travel time. and you can clear here maybe all these cells to leave only uh, intrazona available. That's up to you. Personally, I like to keep only the matrix, only the intrazona in one, only the terminal in another, only travel time in another, so it's more organized, but you can choose how to work. That's it.